Hi Libra, how's it going? Um, this is your uh, weekly tarot reading for December 11th through December 17th. In this reading we'll have five separate spreads. The first spread is going to be on new love coming towards you uh, this week. The second spread is for those of you who are already married or in a relationship. Then I'll do the uh, love from the past. Spread after that we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And then uh, we'll wrap things up with what you're not expecting to happen this week spread. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. So this first spread is a new love this week. We have uh, the King of Pentacles clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. Then we have uh, the Two of Cups clarified by the Queen of Swords. We also have the Empress. In the potential outcome we have uh, the Ace of Swords with the Chariot and uh, the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, we also have Cancer... Uh, on the table and Taurus. Well, Taurus is an earth sign. <laughs> right, yeah, we start with the uh, King of Pentacles. The very first card that came out is a court card, right? Uh, that would be the person coming into your life. For some of you, this is somebody who is already in your life, okay? Because they're clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles could be interpreted in many ways. It's uh, the slowest knight out of all four knights. So perhaps this is somebody who is already in your life and they're just getting ready to make this move this week. But it's not only the slowest night. So it doesn't have to be about speed, right? The Knight of Pentacles is the most serious, the most grounded, the most long-term oriented night out of all four nights. And also the most uh, financially abundant <laughs> night out of all four nights. Okay, so the offer is serious, the offer is legit, the offer is long-term. That's the offer from this King of Pentacles, right? It's as serious as it gets. What I want to notice right away um, is that we have two really, really fast cards in the tarot deck, right? And both of them are on the table. The Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right, that's one of them, and the Chariot in the middle of the potential outcome is the other one. So things are about to either gain momentum or the two of you could go travel together. Uh, there could be relocation for you, for them, for both of you. Or, like I said, this this will just simply start moving forward really, really quickly from this point on. Because uh, I see that Two of Cups right next to the King of Pentacles and it's clarified by you, the Queen of Swords. The Empress, the next card over, is also your card. The Empress is shared between um, Libra and Taurus, but since this is a Libra reading, I assume that's you. So you're in this reading twice. <laughs> Technically, you're in it twice, right? Both cards are in the uh, main spread on the left. And uh, the Queen of Swords is clarified in the Two of Cups. And there are two people in the Two of Cups. That's you in this King of Pentacles, right? Um, and uh, this is a card of when two people see eye to eye and both people are on the same page. So I think this is like a mutual understanding. Both of you see eye to eye. Both of you understand what's going on. Both of you are hopefully in love with one another. <laughs> Alright? Uh, the Two of Cups is an amazing card to have. And you're the Queen of Swords. Uh, the Empress, uh, in the middle, like I said, it's one of your major arcana cards. Alright, and uh, at the same time, the Empress often comes through as a future wife or a future spouse or a future significant other figure. This is also a card of somebody who is loved, cherished, taken care of, somebody who knows their worth. And I think this King of Pentacles definitely knows your worth. That's why they're looking at you as the Empress. Okay, they do see, like, the two of you starting a family. Speaking of a family, in the potential outcome, we have that uh, chariot in the middle. We also have the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. All right, the chariot could be a cancer, you know, but as, as already mentioned, it's um, one of the fastest cards in the deck, just like the eight of ones. The ace of swords, the first card in there, I think this ace belongs to you, but it could belong to both of you. Again, I keep feeling this mutual understanding. That's what I keep hearing, mutual understanding <laughs> of what the two of you mean one to one another, mutual understanding that the two of you could definitely have a family together. Right, a commitment together. So the Ace of Swords often comes through as the word yes. That's what I'm trying to say. The Ace of Swords is the yes card. <laughs> All right, it's also a card of clarity. Again, you guys are both crystal clear about what's going on here. All right, the Ace of Swords is a card of a new beginning, but it's a new beginning on the next level up since it's in the potential outcome. All right, and uh, the Ten of Pentacles right next to the deck is a card of a rock solid commitment in marriage. And it makes total sense that that particular commitment or marriage card showed up because we have multiple commitment marriage cards on, on the, in the tarot deck, right? And that's since uh, you have this King of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles coming your way, it, 
logically leads to the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is a rock solid commitment to marriage, rock solid. And that's exactly what this person is uh, getting ready to provide. It's like this person is a provider, basically, right? Then at the same time, still very loving, hence the Two of Cups, and also the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. It's not only the fastest card in the deck, it's also the Cupid's Arrows card. <laughs> All right, also the Cupid's Arrows card. So the Cupid is definitely participating <laughs> in this. Yeah, it's like, it's a done deal. It's a done deal, Libra. All right, really happy for you, congratulations. If you are already married, or if you're in a relationship, Libra, this part is for you. We have the Three of Wands, we have the Queen of Swords, clarified by the Nine of Cups, we have the Six of Wands, and the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Well, here's the deal. Here's what I noticed right away, is that um, every single card we have on the table features just one person, except maybe for that Six of Wands right next to the deck. We do have uh, one person riding a horse, and we can kind of see other people in the background, right? But all other cards feature just one person, the Ace of Swords, there is a hand with a sword, right? And I believe that's your hand. You see how the Queen of Swords is holding up a sword? That's your sword in the Ace of Swords, that's your hand. So I think this is you taking on some kind of an initiative this week. Or you're laying down the law. <laughs> you're going to say, you know what? This decision is final and that's exactly how it's going to be, period. End of story, done deal. All right? <laughs> That's, it's all about you, and it's like how you say it goes, pretty much. Or perhaps you're just um, um, start, you know, on your own, you're going to come up with something that's, gonna, that's about to start this week. But it's going to be for the whole family, or it's going to be for uh, just the two of you, if, they're, if, if, if you're just in a relationship with no children, right? But um, you see, it's, it's all you this week, Libra. The three of ones, the first card I came out, this is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision, his decision is final, okay? We have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck, this is, like I said, that's your Ace, the Ace of Swords is like, yes, that's how it's gonna be. Very decisive energy. The Queen of Swords in the middle, that's definitely you, you're clarified by the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment, because uh, something is definitely gonna go your way, or you're just satisfied that you uh, started this, whatever this new thing is. And the Six of Wands right next to the deck is a card of victory and success, so yes, you will have it your way. <laughs> or, perhaps if you uh, do this, then uh, your family members or your um, significant other, they will be like, oh my god, you're so good, that was such a great idea. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, so if you do have an idea, don't be afraid to, you know, launch it, to initiate it. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, uh, Libra, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. Also, keep in mind, we got Mercury retrograde with us. Always fun, <laughs> right? And this is when more X's than usual tend to resurface. So here's one of them. Uh, we have the Eight of Cups, clarified by the Page of Cups. We have the Nine of Wands, the Seven of Wands, clarified by the Five of Wands. And we have the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or they could be any Zodiac sign, as long as this person is a player. And I think you already know that. That's why you're definitely not wanting to engage or re-engage with this person, right? Definitely not. Because you know, you know what's up. <laughs> you know what's up with this person, right? So the Knight of Wands, yeah, it could be a fire sign, but the Knight of Wands is often associated with somebody who is hot and cold in and out of your life, somebody who is a playboy, playgirl kind of a character. They're coming back to you this week with that Eight of Cups, clarified by the uh, Page of Cups. The Eight of Cups in this case, since it's the first card I came up, this is them coming back to you, right? Then it feels like this person is just making a round. Making rounds, right? S trying to see who would answer their text. Or is trying to see who would fall for their BS again. The Page of Cups, clarifying, and it could be some kind of an apology, but it's all BS. You know that. You, you just know that, Libra, right? With the Page of Cups, they may offer you to, you know, go on a date, catch up, grab a cup of coffee, what have you. And the remaining three cards, this, uh, the nine of ones with the seven of ones and the five of ones, clarifying that this is you definitely saying no to them. And if it, you may have to, you know, tell them a couple of harsh words if they don't get uh, your point across the first time. Don't be afraid, stay civil, <laughs> but just tell them, tell them off. Basically, tell them off. All right, cool. 
Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Libra. This week we have the Page of Wands, uh, clarified by the Nine of Swords in the Tower. Uh, then we have uh, the Nine of Pentacles, clarified by the Queen of Swords. Uh, we also have the Three of Pentacles and uh, the Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Scorpio or any zodiac sign. You know, I think somebody is going to ask for your help or for your assistance, for your uh, expertise. Okay? Or the other way around. But for most of you, somebody is asking you for help, right? That's what the uh, page of wants is all about. The page of wants is somebody messaging you, calling you, or just walking over and uh, talking to you. They're going to be talking to you about some kind of a difficulty they're facing right now, right? The page of wants is clarified by the Nine of Swords and the Tower. Perhaps they just want to meet up with you and uh, it, it will not sound um, like there is an emergency, but when the two of you do meet, uh, they will tell you that there is some kind of an emergency, right? Because the page of wands is clarified by the Nine of Swords and the Tower, and uh, we also have the Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So the Nine of Swords with the Tower, yes, they are going through something. Okay, they they need your help. I don't know what they're going through, but they do need your help, right? The Nine of Pentacles, clarified by the Queen of Swords in the middle. That's you. You're the Queen of Swords here, and the Nine of Pentacles um, is a card of somebody who is self-sufficient, independent. When it comes to work, business, and finances, perhaps they need uh, financial assistance, or you're just um, like um, like a figure of authority to them, right? The person in the Nine of Pentacles, they're doing very well financially, or they're just. Uh, Somebody who is in the center of attention, somebody uh, whom everybody would go to for help. And that's exactly what's happening, right? The Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck is a card of a burden. It could be them experiencing some kind of a burden or a difficulty, or this whole situation is not going to be uh, easy. It could be um, a puzzle for you to solve, but I think you'll manage. I think you will. Uh, the Three of Pentacles right next to the deck is a card of collaboration, right? And I think this is where you come in and... Uh, work with them and help them with whatever problem they're experiencing. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, uh, Libra, this week. We have the Eight of Pentacles, uh, the Page of Cups, clarified by the Seven of Cups. We have the Queen of Wands and the Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You know what? I was looking at this spread and then it hit me. I was, I was trying, it's much simpler than I thought. <laughs> so you got this queen of wands and this person most likely works with you or they do business with you or they are somehow associated with the way you make your money. They're going to ask you if you want to join this them or perhaps even a group of people for a happy hour. All right? So um, be careful, don't overdo it. <laughs> okay? Don't overdo it. Because the following morning is going to be rough. All right, that's what this spread is all about. Much simpler than I was like, what's going on here with that four of swords on the bottom of the deck, the seven of cups, and then I'm like, oh, I see. All right, so yes, uh, the eight of pentacles, the first card that came out is a card of work, business, and finances, right? The queen of wands right next to the deck is the person you either work with or do business with or what have you, right? The page of cups, them asking you if you want to join them for a happy hour, all right? The seven of cups clarifying. Uh, the Page of Cups sometimes comes through as a card of intoxication. All right, and that's why we have the Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This is you uh, waking up or trying to wake up the following morning, and it's not going to be easy. <laughs> it's not going to be easy, so be careful. Don't overdo it. All right, I know it's like... Uh, uh, the holiday uh, season is here with us and people do go out more often than usual. You know, we also are about to close the year at work. So, yeah, there's nothing wrong with celebrating with your coworkers or colleagues, but just be careful, especially if you have things to do the following day. All right, Libra? <laughs> so that's what I have for you for this reading for uh, this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Libra, have an amazing week.